Country legends Tim McGraw and Faith Hill have reportedly amassed a combined net worth of $165 million or more over the years. The power couple has also treated themselves to some seriously luxurious properties over the years too, including a historic estate in Franklin, Tennessee, and even an entire island in the Bahamas. These days, Tim and Faith reside in their custom mega mansion in Nashville, Tennessee, which is about 10 times the size of the average American home, spanning a whopping 22,460 60 square feet of space. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill still seem to have one of the most iconic relationships in the music industry. And since being married in 1996 and having three daughters together, they're going strong. Both Faith and Tim are award-winning country music singers as well as record producers. Talk about a match made in heaven. The pair first met at a gig in Nashville in 1994, but at the time they were seeing other people. Two years later, Faith joined Tim on tour and sparks began to fly. These days after owning a handful of upscale and luxury properties together, the couple has settled into a custom mega property in Nashville that has a square footage which will blow your mind. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're going to be talking about the estates of Faith Hill and Tim McGraw. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Grand Faith Hill's current estate has been kept largely private, mostly because it's a custom dream home they built from the ground up. Located in Nashville, Tennessee, or somewhere just in the nearby outskirts, records show the mega mansion spans a massive and jaw-dropping 22,360 square feet of space inside. As you'll soon learn, Tim and Faith offloaded their other properties in recent years. But the fact that this estate is so huge, also boasting five beds and 10 baths, obvious the couple doesn't need much Else. With the average American family home spanning approximately 2,261 square feet of space, the couple's abode is 10 times the size. So just put that in perspective. Now that Tim and Faith's three daughters are all grown, the two further have all of this space to themselves for the most part. I wonder how quiet things get around there when it's just them. Tim often shares glimpses of the home's interiors on social media, and we can get an idea of how massive and lavish the place really is. The country star has shared a clip on Instagram sitting in what looked to be one of the living rooms watching his old music videos. The room was decorated with sophisticated glam and textures including a buttery leather sofa in a shade of tan as well as black and gray carpets underfoot. The rest of this room was painted in a shade of white and boasted floor to ceiling windows at the front of the home, which brought it in the light. Nearby there was a marble topped island and a spiral black staircase was also revealed. Last Christmas, we could see another room in the massive mansion, which seems like it's the great room. It had been decorated in all white, even the Christmas tree itself followed the theme. Aside from the floor to ceiling windows, we could see an antique brass chandelier and a grand piano. Other Glimpses during Christmas revealed that the double height great room also had soaring ceilings with wood beams. The kitchen has a slightly different theme, and from what Tim had shown in the past, there are varnished wood floors, black and white statement walls, as well as add-ons like a stainless steel chimney hood and a suite of other stainless steel appliances. The open plan looking space also had a handful of storage cabinets, a blue island with white top and leather seats, as well as a gray couch in the back of the room. Another time Faith showed some of the home was when she posted a tribute to Tim on Instagram and she transformed the living room. She placed sparkling lights on the floor and set the space up for them to enjoy a romantic dance. We could see floor to ceiling windows and paneled walls in the background too. And the outside of their home is just as stunning from what we can see with grounds that look more like a park than a backyard. 
backyard. There are amazing views of the surrounding areas as well, and we could see this when the couple posts a pic of a tree that they decorated with fairy lights. While the couple is quite content on their custom property these days in February 2021, Faith and Tim sold a spot which took them years of work and tons of money to construct, their private island in the Bahamas. The couple purchased the island called L'Ile d'Ange in 2003 and listed it for $35 million a year prior, but the final selling price wasn't revealed. It ended up being far more complicated than Faith and Tim originally thought since there were no existing structures on the island. Before they could build their dream vacation home, they needed to construct housing for the construction staff as well as water and electrical access. Therefore, the home wasn't fully complete until 2012. The 20-acre island had almost 1.3 miles of waterfront, included two beachfront cottages, a private dock, three staff residences, engineering facilities, and much more. While the island is surrounded by the sea, the couple still needed a swimming pool, and I don't blame them. I'm more of a pool girl than a beach girl myself. Well, the pool terrace is only a few steps from the seaside and transitions seamlessly into the indoors living spaces. There's stylish outdoor furnishings on the surrounding terrace to hang out and lounge as well. The main residence is located on a high point at the center of the island to give the best views, while inside, it spans over 6,500 square feet of space with an additional 5,000 square feet of covered patios and open air breezeways branching off to the other structures. The other structures, or pods, gather around a central courtyard or pavilion, and there's also a particular open air living space, which Faith loved the most. This area was connecting one of the pavilions to the pool, and Faith had said about it, We wanted to feel connected to the outside. When the breeze comes through the room, it's just life-changing. It really is. It's something for the soul. The interiors of the estate matched wonderfully with the clear blue skies and the sea outside, such as blue accents in certain rooms. Tim explained that they essentially had to build a small town to accommodate all of the staff helping them build the place, so it wasn't without its challenges. While the sprawling property is big enough for an army, there are still romantic corners where Tim and Faith could spend some time together. While they started off with a mere shack on the island, these days the massive eight pavilion estate is connected by thatched roofs, while outside there's meticulous tropical landscaping and plenty of palm trees. The couple's home had beach inspired design throughout and a washed out color palette with accents of color. One of the eight pavilions was ideal for spending time with family and friends, boasting a large wooden dining table as well as lowered sofa style seating and shade away from the sun. The property had a zen feel to it, especially with the airy hallways. There were also beautiful guest quarters with seaside inspired tones and plush furnishings, as well as a kid's dorm with bunk beds and two bathrooms. Other spaces included a massive great room which opened directly to the poolside terrace. Tim and Faith's former master suite here may have been the main attraction as it could completely open on one wall, allowing you to fall asleep to the waves crashing. Reportedly, they also had a freestanding bathtub here on the private porch. That tropical paradise wasn't the only impressive compound Faith and Tim used to own. While they also recently sold this property for a reported $15 million, they purchased it back in 2001 from country music legend Hank Williams, and it spanned 753 acres of land with four structures. Well, there were four main residences and apparently other smaller buildings for staff and friends to stay. The HGW Mayberry House, also known as Beechwood Hall, was a historic plantation house built in 1856 located on the property, which was completely impressive from exterior views. The couple didn't end up renovating this main house, perhaps because it was registered as a historic place, and instead they set their sights on other structures. One of the buildings in the property had a gorgeous vintage ballroom with spiral staircase and chandelier. Lear, only one of the many magical spaces here. There was a renovated barn with 12 functional horse stalls, and if you wanted to, one could saddle up and never have to leave the property for your ride. Then, another structure was a small bungalow, one of two guest houses on Faith and Tim's Franklin estate, which came fully equipped. 
The couple spent most of their time living here in the 3,300 square foot log cabin, which was built in the 1800s as well, and was also registered as a historic place. Faith and Tim decided to restore this building, named the Samuel Morton House, and the stunning home boasted double high columns and high ceilings. The renovated space had a beautiful porch out back, complete with rocking chairs, which looked perfect to relax, while inside the design was stylish yet cozy. The home offered five bedrooms and features like a grand living room with an open plan layout. Here, there were walls of windows, vaulted ceilings, and a chic look. There were also French doors opening out to the garden, and elsewhere, a spacious and peaceful sunroom. The brand new kitchen they installed had a country vibe, yet modern and functional, with light furnishings and bright painted wood to complement the log style of the home. In the main historic home on the estate, which Faith and Tim did not renovate, there was a lot of wood paneling and grand rooms inside. One massive living room here offered a fireplace and single glazed windows, which would be sure to get cold in the winter. Also in Beechwood Hall, there were many classic period features, such as in the double height room, which was fully decked out in intricate wood. The massive property offered many pastures, orchards, a private stream, and more, which would have been a lot of work to take care of. While the couple owned it for over a decade, they ultimately decided to let it go. Well everyone, that is going to conclude our Tim McGraw and Faith Hill house tour. Let me know what you thought of their homes down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!